What's going on, guys? How you doing? Good. Nice. Yeah. Good to hear. I like to pick my nose. You guys like to pick your nose? No? Nobody? Just me, huh? I'm in You guys are in denial. You guys are in denial. No, I do. I really like to pick my nose. Like sometimes I like to I like to find like a nice dust storm and just hang out in it for a while. That way so that later that day I'll just have like a nice big load of boogers in my nose just right for the picking. <laughs> I think it's an absolute shame that booger picking is looked upon so negatively in our society. I really do. You got all these human rights activists who are trying to free the nipple, but really we should just be focusing on freeing the booger. Hashtag free the booger, I'm starting a movement. Who's in? What, yeah, we got one guy. Nice. We're gonna stand outside the White House and pick it. <laughs> We're gonna flick boogers on Obama's front lawn. Let him know we mean business. No, I like to treat my boogers like a wounded baby bird that I've nursed back to health. I like to, I like to care for it, nurture it, roll it up into a perfect little non-sticky ball. And when it's ready, you know, set it free. <laughs> you just go on, fly away. You're free now, Terrence. Uh, I'm like a foster home for boogers. <laughs> just raise them up and send them on their way. <laughs> I strongly believe that there's three types of people in this world. There's, uh, there's those that wipe boogers, flick boogers, and eat boogers. And I'm actually really good at predicting which one you are. You, sir. Is that your wife? She, okay, he's married, so he doesn't eat them. <laughs> should, girls, girls don't date or marry guys that eat their boogers. I found that out the hard way. <laughs> uh, let's see. You're, uh, you're drinking a drink with foam on the top of it, so that tells me that you're not a flicker. You're just not wild enough. Um, you're a wiper, aren't you? Yeah, you're a wiper. And you hide them really well, don't you? I'm gonna guess underneath the computer chair. <laughs> Don't look under there. Don't do it. You ever been over at a friend's house and just like accidentally found like their secret haven of all their boogers? You just, you just casually like brush your hand underneath the coffee table and it feels like you're reading a braille. <laughs> it's disgusting, it's disgusting. Boogers, you're, you're a fun crowd, you like boogers? Took you a while, I had to warm you up on the boogers, but you like them. Um, yeah, so uh, girls never sleep with me and come back for seconds. And it's not, it's not because I'm flicking boogers everywhere. It's, uh, it's because I sleepwalk. I, I do, it's bad, it's, it's really bad. Like last time I had a girl over, I woke up, she woke up in the middle of the night and I was just like scratching at the wall. <laughs> and she's like, what are you doing? And I was like, you're not on my team. That's a true story. I'm not making this up. Like, what was what, those words came out? What was I playing? What game was that? First one through the wall wins. <laughs> You're behind. <laughs> I woke up the next morning alone with a note on the bed saying, You're possessed. Get help. I, I never saw her again. Thought she was the one. Could have sworn she was the one. I miss her so much. Run her out. <laughs> you ever take a poop and you're so confident it's a clean poop, you don't even wipe, you just pull your pants up and walk out? <laughs> it's a very risky business. <laughs> and my tidy whities have paid the price. <laughs> You ever have to fart and know that if you do, there's a 50% chance poop will come out and be like, I'm feeling lucky and you fart anyway? All the thanks. <laughs> that too is a risky business, guys. <laughs> I treat my farts like an earthquake. I just panic and run outside. <laughs> Everybody outside! <laughs> so I'm single. I don't know if you pieced that one together yet. Um, Looking for love. I really am looking for love. I don't know why though, you know, having a girlfriend is a lot like having the power go out. At first it's fun and exciting. You think it's gonna be awesome. And then 15 minutes later, you're like, this is stupid. I can't do anything. 
<laughs> no, I don't want to play a board game. Stop asking. <laughs> board games suck. And being a boyfriend is a lot like being a fire alarm, you know? You do exactly what you're supposed to do, but 99% of the time you just get yelled at and swatted with a hand towel. <laughs> oh, man. You guys remember when skunks used to stink? You remember those, those days? Now whenever we smell a skunk, we're like, mmm, that is some good weed. Uh, yes. Woo, I gotta get me some of that weed. <laughs> Skunks are probably furious. Just every time they do a little spray to fight off a predator, there's a seven potheads show up. I think there's some weed in that bush over there. <laughs> If I owned a weed shop, I'd get a pet skunk, put it in the attic, and scare it five times a day. <laughs> Business would be booming. <laughs> I used the gas station bathroom the other day. Uh, the door was locked, so I went up to the guy working. I was like, hey, dude, can I get the key go to the bathroom? And he handed me a key with a spatula attached to it. No, they, they do that to keep it from stealing the key, which is stupid, because why would I want to steal a key to some gross bathroom in the back of a gas station? <laughs> if anything, I would now steal the key only because it has a very nice spatula attached to it. <laughs> I've been flipping my pancakes with a fork. I could really use a spatula right now. <laughs> Thank you, gas station, for this lovely two-for-one special. <laughs> Ugh. Ladies, make some noise. How many, we got ladies in here? Woo. You guys are crazy when it comes to pictures. You know that, right? It's ridiculous. It's, it's bad. Like, it is physically impossible to take a picture of a girl and have her be pleased with it without a 15-foot ladder to take it from. I'm starting to realize that. It's all about the angles. It's, it's crazy. Like, my girlfriends don't even ask me anymore. Every time I do, I hand it back to them, and they're like, Ew, gross. Terrible angle. I look like a potato. <laughs> Delete it. Ooh. And I'm like, yeah, well, that's the same angle that people look at you with, so... <laughs> Unless Shaquille O'Neal is staring you down, you look like a potato, and you should probably come to terms with that. You guys have been fun. I'm Alex Oliver. <laughs> <laughs>